Welcome to this video on creating recurring meetings in Microsoft Outlook. So you may want to do this like I do to get multiple meetings in the diary at the same time every day or every Friday or every Monday or every month. You can use this function to do a lot of things. You can really customise the time scales, but this helps you to get multiple versions of the same meeting in your diary and other people's diaries at the same time without having to create individual meetings. So a great example of this is I generally put a quick slot in for my lunch so that I don't get meetings constantly overriding that and I get to take a really nice break midday. Otherwise, my afternoon's just a real struggle because I haven't had that time just to defocus, take myself away from my computer screens and have something to eat to refresh myself as well. And you can see there's a little icon in the bottom right hand corner of those items with a little almost like an oval with arrows going around it. It's telling me that it's recurring. So it's happening multiple times until I tell it to stop. So you set the rules on how this works. Now, don't worry if you've set that. I can always move one of them at any point. So sometimes I do need to move my lunch because someone does book a meeting in or I just need to do something at 12 and I'm actually going to move it till a different time. So if I click and drag and move one of them to a different time, depending on which type of outlook you've got going on, sometimes you might get a quick warning to say, do you want to move this or all the events? Other times it might just move that one. It's not going to move them all without confirming with you, especially if you move it manually. Obviously, you can double click and change the whole event, but it is treated as one. So if you go in and change it all for the future, it will move all the past ones, which isn't an issue as long as they're in the past. But if you've made any manual changes to the, the recurring meetings in the next couple of weeks, then you might need to go back in and sort them out. So just be aware there's a few little things you need to think about. But let's have a look at adding one in there. So I'm just going to double click. So everything looks really similar. I'm sure you've all done meetings. So let's just do a project Paris update. I'm going to invite attendees if I want to. I'm going to leave those blank at the moment. Then underneath that, I've got the date and the time. So I'm going to put that in for Friday at 2 p.m. And I can obviously select from the drop down. I can over type this manually, whatever I need to do. And then what I'm going to be interested for this one, just in case you've never done this before, is the don't repeat. So at the moment, it's just an individual meeting. There's no recurring, there's no repetition on it. But if I click that option, then I've got some quick ones to work with. So daily means that this is going to happen every single day from Friday at two o'clock. That's how it's going to repeat. Weekly is going to mean that it will repeat every Friday at two o'clock from this Friday. Monthly is going to give you once a month, usually on the Friday. And then yearly is going to give you once a year on the 5th of July. So you do need to be careful as it gets a little bit longer. Daily and weekly is very self-explanatory, but when it gets to monthly and yearly, the days could change, the dates could change, depending on what you've set. So at that point, you might want to use custom. So if I select custom, you can see what's going on here. Really nice. You can see it starts, and then you've got a repeat, and you've got some drop-down options. So you can see repeats every one week and if I just click on that weekly drop down you can see I've got day week month and year again to play around with and then you can see I've got my my days of the week now if I change to repeats every one day you can see it's got my Monday to Saturday there and what I can do then if I only want it to repeat on a weekday if I want to ignore the weekends I can just deselect them and you can see it occurs every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. So you can play around with it as well. So I'm going to change that back to every week. And it's picked a Friday again because I've already booked my first meeting in on a Friday. What you also want to have a look at is the end date. So sometimes you just want this to happen for two weeks, for three weeks, for four weeks, for five weeks. 
or you just want it to go on and on and on because it may be a weekly team meeting that you're going to have. So you can remove the end date if you want to. And then you can choose an end date also if you want to as well. So let's say this is going to start on that Friday there. And I'm going to go for one, two, three, four, five. So I'm going to stop it on the 2nd of August. So it's only going to create them for that time frame. And I'm going to click on save. So you can see now you've got a few things going on there. I can see it's weekly. I can see a little bit about the occurrence every Friday until August the 2nd. And then obviously I can go down and see all my other detail. What I'm going to do is I'm going to save and then I'm just going to come out of there. And you can see I've got that Project Paris update there on the 5th. So let's go through the weeks and just see that it's popping up. So it's popping up the next week. It's popping up the week after. There on the 26th. And the 2nd should be the last time. So it's there on the 2nd. So it shouldn't be there on the 9th. And it isn't. But remember what I said, you can always move one of them around if you need to by just clicking on it and dragging it and changing that time. Just move that one forward a little bit, but it won't have affected any of the others. So let's go into the others and you can see it's still in that same place. So this is really useful if you've got multiple meetings happening at the same time every day, every week, every month or everything like that. You can do it for a short period of time or you can have it going for as long as you possibly want to, depending on what type of meeting is. And then it's flexible enough that you can just move those meetings around if you need to. So one to have a play around with, make your life and everyone's life much easier because you're just sending one invite out to them rather than multiple ones if it's the same meeting that happens on a regular occurrence. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and let me know what videos you'd like me to record next.